Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to um, uh, stream live video uh, in YouTube using Google Chrome. So I already have a Google or a YouTube account created and I've already logged in. So whenever you log in, you'll see the icon in the top right hand corner of, of YouTube. And I am using Chrome browser and that's really important uh, because whenever we're streaming, Chrome browser has some features uh, for streaming to YouTube that other browsers do not have. Specifically, you'll see this camera with the plus sign on it. So the first thing I want to do is go click on my icon and go to Creator Studio. Creator Studio. This is from the YouTube main page after I've logged in. Now, I don't have any videos uploaded. So the first thing I'm going to do if I have a new account is to go to Channel the channel. Okay. So by default, channels do not have live streaming enabled. You have to enable it. So I've already enabled it on this channel um, and it looks something like eligible and then you have this enable button. So if you don't have live streaming enabled, if it doesn't have this green here, um, then you probably need to click the enable button. Now, once you click the enable button, it will take about 24 hours to well, one to two days um, to enable streaming on your channel for the first time. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is make sure that live streaming is enabled on your channel. Okay, if it's not enabled, make sure you enable it and then wait for the, the time period until you can, uh, can start streaming. Once streaming is enabled, then go to live streaming under your account. You'll notice that we are currently offline um, and then live stream basic information on the right hand side you'll see your chat window. Whenever you're streaming anyone can um, uh, 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 chat with you if it's public. Uh, basic info, the top line is for a title. So for example we'll do SecRev so security, cybersecurity revolution conference and then maybe, you know, what the name of the, the group is. So I'll just say lifts at Halim. And then some sort of description uh, uh, in the bigger box, description about what, what this is. So SecRev conference, a group from Halim University. Okay. Um, we can also schedule the next stream, so the time that we actually want to start it. Um, and then select the category. Those things aren't so important. What is important though is privacy. So under privacy, we either want to be public or unlisted. Public or unlisted. We do not want to be private. Otherwise, nobody can access the, um, uh, the link. Okay. And nobody can access your, your channel. Now, for now, we don't have to worry about encoder setup, but I will talk about that in the next video. And then, um, probably the most, uh, important, is uh, under YouTube, you want this share link. So this share link is where the stream can be watched, right? So this is the thing that you need to give the conference organizers for SecRev uh, because that's where your stream is going to be located at the time of your your talk, okay? Um, so right now we're offline. Actually, I'll just go ahead and try to do um, a new window, see if we can already see it. Yeah, so this is offline, like, so live stream is offline right now. This is the link that I could share with people. Um, but I'm, I'm not online right now. So make sure that this is the link that you share with the conference. That way they know where, um, to, uh, uh, find your, your presentation. Okay. So, um, once we know that streaming is set up and we've set some of our defaults, now we can start streaming. And there's a couple different ways to do that. Either we can click on camera directly um, and then that will start the stream or if I go from the YouTube home page from the YouTube home page you'll see this uh, kind of a video camera with a plus sign so video camera with a plus sign click on it and then click go live okay click go live now uh, YouTube wants to use your microphone use your camera so then we click allow and then create a title for this. So let's say SecRev, SecRev 2018. And then we want the uh, video to be public. Click more options. 
Uh, add a description. Uh, people in blogs do something like science technology category. That doesn't matter too much. Uh, choose the camera or the de uh, video device that you want to use. I'm going to use just my built-in webcam and you can see that it's already working in the background. Okay. And then uh, for audio, uh, just select, in my case, I'm selecting default. Um, I just have uh, a microphone plugged directly into the microphone port in my laptop. Uh, the microphone is going through a preamp, but really there's nothing nothing special about the mic uh, at all. Uh, under advanced settings, we want to allow chat, and that's how people are going to ask you questions. Um, probably don't want age restrictions or anything like that. Okay, so then we can just click next, and then this will be the the template or the icon for your uh, video. So this will be the thumbnail for your video. Um, which uh, isn't very funny, but maybe you can do a, a, a picture of your, your research group or whatever it is. Then click um, either share, and that will generate the link for you to be found at. So I'll, I'll actually go ahead and copy that right now. And then open up another browser. And here's the stream. So there's me looking a little bit weird. All right. So there's the stream and okay. So this is what everyone who you shared it with will see. Um, but remember you have to share this uh, link before um, uh, going live. That way other like the, the conference organizers know where your video is going to be located. Okay. Then just click go live. So now we're going live and I'm here and Okay, so now we're going live and you can see that the audio is picked up at the bottom. We have the option to end stream. We have live here and we have one person watching, which is me. Yeah, and then you can hear the stream and you can probably hear me talking again. I don't know if it, it will pick up right now. And I'm going to mute that because it's super strange. Okay. So <laughs> now we're streaming, right? And notice that we have the chat window below. So I can say, uh, do you have any questions? And then that'll sh should show up. Do you have any questions? And then the person can reply, nope, thanks. And then we should see it here. So now we can actually interact with people directly. Notice there is a little bit of a, a delay. So I'm going to lift my arm now. And then now in the video, it's lifted up. So that's about a, a 20, 20 second, maybe a little bit less than 20 second delay, at least from my side. This is from streaming through Chrome. Okay, so expect a little bit of delay and make sure you have somebody watching the um, uh, chats in the comments. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, streaming through Chrome is, is very, very simple. Um, it makes things very easy. I'm also going to cover how to uh, use the open broadcasting system if you want to do something a little bit more advanced, but um, streaming on Chrome is the easiest way that we found so far if you want to stream to YouTube. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, you'll notice that uh, the quality of the camera is not so good. Um, it's just the my my webcam built into my laptop is super old um, on any new phone. So, for example, on my phone, if you have the YouTube app installed, you can also log in using the YouTube app and stream directly from your phone. So on my phone, the camera on my phone is actually better than my web camera. So um, we were considering streaming directly from the phone. Just make sure you plug in the phone so it gets power while it's streaming. Um, and the most important thing is audio. Um, people don't mind so much bad video quality, especially for lectures and things like that. But if the audio is not good, then you're going to have some problems. Um, people um, uh, can't really tolerate uh, too bad audio. So just make sure that there's not a lot of uh, noise. And the way to um, deal with noise is basically just get a decent mic that's away from the computer. So you might be able to hear right now, the fan on my laptop is running quite loudly, but because the mic is actually away from the computer, um, it doesn't pick up so much. This is also a, a unidirectional mic, so basically it's just pointing directly at me and away from the fan on the computer. If I was using the mic built into the laptop, I, you guys probably wouldn't be listening to this because it wouldn't sound very good. Um, I don't really have any special setup for the mic. It's just a, a standard, um, relatively inexpensive mic. 
uh, plug directly into the laptop. Um, I do have a, a fancier holder for it just to keep the mic out of my way whenever I'm not using it. Um, and that's it. Just a default webcam plus uh, a better mic. Now, um, I, yeah, I would recommend something like a lavalier. This isn't a lavalier, but this is a receiver for a lavalier. And uh, this is a, a not a webcam. So I couldn't use this camera um, that I'm pointing to as a... Um, uh, a video source because it doesn't do streaming, but on top of it, there's a receiver for a lavalier mic that plugs directly into, uh, you probably won't be able to see this, but plugs directly into, um, uh, an audio port. So you could plug that, for example, into a higher quality phone, um, and then stream your lavalier mic directly into your, your phone. Um, I, I'm going to experiment with that a little bit and see if I get good sound quality that way, or at least acceptable sound quality. Um, the thing is that you want audio on the speaker, right? So in, in our case, for example, this microphone, um, would be too far away probably from the speaker. Imagine that the speaker is probably standing maybe back here. Um, we would have to extend the mic somehow, and I'm not really sure how we would do that. So, um, you really need to think about your audio, uh, before before the conference and and test at least a couple days before to make sure that everything's working okay um, and that's pretty much it um, that's pretty much it for streaming if you do it in chrome it's very easy the the most difficult part is actually getting your sound to sound good okay so that's it for today thank you very much